Make sure you keep watching this video if you want to know how to make a YouTube banner just like this on the screen. Hello everybody, I am Rob Tucker and welcome back to this brand new video where today I'll be teaching you how to make a really really easy YouTube banner which looks simple and it's just effective because some people just want the YouTube banner to get the point across and some people don't want it to be over complicated. So before you get any further make sure you smash a big fat like on this video, subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell. So what you want to do is come to create a graphic and it'll be snapper.com slash app come here and now you need to enter this specific code so all you want to do is enter 2560 and then 1440 if I can enter that just like so this is basically just a graphic size for YouTube and otherwise it won't work and it hasn't actually got this as a pre-made one so what I want to do is click create and now it's going to create you a brand new graphic as you can see it's creating it now as you can see you've got this brand new blank canvas so what you want to do is come here and click on background and simply click on upload okay so it'll take a minute to load um, but before you come here you need to come here and simply search for a YouTube banner template just like so search for that and find one of these so I really recommend using this one it's really straightforward uh, this one here oh no that's the wrong size make sure it says 2560 by 1440 and you need to use this okay so what I want to do is right click on it and then click on save image as so what you want to do is come back to snapper and simply click on upload an image and simply find it in your downloads folder so now I've done that it's gonna upload it I've actually um already tested this out this IE why this is here because I use it quite a lot um what you want to do is simply click on here and it's going to load it in. So this is one I made previously, um, but yeah. So this is what I've currently got. So this is the first thing you want to do. Now you want to come to the shape section and simply find this shape, which is going to block out this bit because this isn't needed. Um, you need to use this middle bit, but you can need to remove the other bits. So what I'm going to do is get two squares just like that and get another one shapes here. And simply position them here um, and then drag across just like so just so it hides at the bottom because I think it's just unnecessary um, and it just makes it easier and it keeps your keeps your eyes in the middle which is what you need so what I'm gonna do is simply come to shapes again uh, and draw another one so you've got this one but you can actually change its color so you can click up here and change the color or you can add custom ones so I think I should have a custom one from earlier I really quite like this gray I think I, I, I don't know how easy it is to customize um, no, it's quite picky, but I quite want a dark grey sort of colour. Um, so I've decided that I'm actually just going to go in to make a custom colour. So all you're going to do is click on custom and you can choose. So as you can see, I'm going to make it not black, but almost black. So I really like a sort of dark colour scheme on my channels. Uh, so then you can do that. And then all you want to do is come up here and click down. So it goes behind the other. You may need to click it twice, the two. And then just drag across just like so and now this is what your banner is going to start looking like so it's getting a really good idea of how it's going to look uh, so the next thing I tend to do is get the text tool so here I want to click on add a heading as you can see it's going to be gray and you can change it to any color by clicking on here so I'm going to go for white for this it's going to make it pop the most because it's on a dark background so once you've got that all you want to come here you can change the font to literally anything there are loads and I think they should import if you've got custom ones on your computer as well I believe um so for this one um so then here you can edit to what you want it to say so i'm just going to go for rob tucker which is my channel name and then i'm gonna increase this font size by holding on and it's just going to increase it itself so it's really easy just by holding on here and i want it to be quite big because this is my channel name bars that are going to help you line it up so if i can get it to work there you go right so as you can see it lines it up and you can spread this across as well by using letter spacing so I'm going to spread it out a bit, not too much, but a nice amount, like so. And I'm going to add a quick uh, blur. So this is going to add like, sort of like a drop shadow type thing. So I think I'm going to... So it isn't that obvious at the minute, but it kind of does look more obvious when it's on YouTube and you can actually see. So I have it like that. So now you've got this. So this is the sort of the basic design. So you could keep it like this if you want. Um, it just gets your name across and it has it's quite a nice color, I think. Um, but I'm going to add some more effects. So the next thing I want to do is click add a heading and use it like this so here all I'm gonna do is double click and then click my I think I'm gonna make like a Twitter one so Twitter and change that to I think I'm gonna keep this quite a dark color but it still stands out a bit more so I might go white and then change the opacity so then all you want to do you can lower the opacity like that just so it, it's obvious but it just makes it a bit more subtle and I think it looks really cool so I'm gonna have a Twitter just like so and then drag that in the middle just like so, so it lines up with the bar. And then I'm gonna add my at. So 
I'm just going to do an app for the purpose of this because yeah um, right so now I'm gonna add another one so this could be for an Instagram it could be for a Twitter it can literally be for anything so once you've loaded the opacity and you've got this design you can add more so I'm gonna quickly um, change the letter spacing I forgot to mention this in the video but once you're ready to download your file all you need to do is click download in the top corner and it'll come straight to your computer after a few seconds so I'm gonna leave this here guys so this is a really simple banner it's not advanced and if you want to see an advanced one please let me know down below because I can show you more specifically how to make it um, and I'll probably use different softwares so if you did enjoy this video please make sure you smash a like subscribe to the channel for more awesome content just like this and I really hope you check around for the more content I'll catch you in the next one peace